Fans are reminded that the throwing of any objects on the ice is strictly prohibited. Fans who interfere with play on the ice will be escorted from the building. On behalf of the Society of Interventional Radiology, we'd like to welcome you to the 2016 Film Panel. I'd like to feature today's cast, introducing Jason Wong and my buddy Dave Liu. And our referee tonight is going to be Dan Z. And our DJ, Gerald Lagine, better known as DJ Hyde. So, so this year we have a fantastic lineup, but let's first start off with the ground rules. First set of rules. The format, six categories, five questions each, two daily doubles, and final jeopardy. Gameplay, we're going to start with the coin toss. We're going to have individual responses that are 20 seconds. The opposing team will have 20 seconds to steal. We're going to pass to the right, so it's past the duchy. If the team gets it right, they keep going. Wrong answers are negative points. No answers, if they pass, are zero points. But we all realize that we need a little help sometimes, so each team has an option to page Dr. Google 20 seconds for a response. Phone a friend 40 seconds, or you can bribe the ref as many times as you want in U.S. dollars only. <laughs> so if we're ready, let's introduce the players representing Team USA. We are introducing from Georgetown, Teresa, your head off the ready. From IA, Nick, I shall bring ye. From Charles office, gonna throw you off of a clip twice. From Radiology Limited, Jules be begging for mercy, Diana. And from University of Illinois, Chuck Sugar Ray. <laughs> Starting lineup for Team Canada from Shoe Montreal, gonna rip your gills out, Sule. Hi, <laughs> man. From the University of Calgary, Corey will have you cogg coggling up blood. From McGill University, David the Volcano Valenti. From Western London Health Sciences Center, the Animal Mujumdar. And last but not least, from St. Paul's here right in Vancouver, Michael, you'll be smartin' Martin. <laughs> All right, so we're ready. I think we are able. Team USA, are you ready? Team Canada, are you ready? Are we ready for the coin toss? Gerald, are you ready?
And now for the coin toss. Does everybody have their refreshments? There are beers behind you. Lots of beers. A little bit of Canadian hospitality for us all before we kick off. Loosen the lips a little bit. Enjoy your day. Genuine Canadian. Hey, what about the commentators, man? <laughs> Excuse, me. Excuse me, sir. Sir. Beer guy. <laughs> Let me shake this up before you open it, all right? Oh, sure. <laughs> I didn't even say anything yet. He's trying to peg me. All right, so the coin toss, and away we go, Dan. Do we have a coin? Oh, was I supposed to make a coin? <laughs> I'll tell you what. Right. How would I flip a flip a phone? Sounds which good. Okay. So which which one's heads? Uh, heads is the front. How's that? Right. And whatever. Uh, okay. However I catch it, it works. Heads. heads. Okay. Heads. It is. Okay. So first. So at the face off, Team the USA. Fix is in. The fix is in. <laughs> Team USA has possession. Please go ahead. Please okay, designate. so Julie, I think you're up since you're for this left. So our categories are devices, second column, materials and methods, third column, diagnostic non-vascular, fourth column is milestones in IR, fifth column is diagnostic vascular, and last column is WTF. <laughs> now, you French Canadians may not know what that means. I'll explain it later. <laughs> okay. All right, diagnostic non-vascular for 100. Diagnostic non-vascular for 100. Question, one point, make that diagnosis, please. And you have 20 seconds, right? Maritzi syndrome. Maritzi syndrome. syndrome is correct. So we have 100 points for the American team. Nice, they're starting strong. Boy, they, they have a really strong defensive lineup here. It Wait, looks were like you going to explain what Maritzi syndrome is? <laughs> it's something with the stone impacting yeah. another area. Yeah, and blocking yeah. The okay. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. Thing. Bad thing. Have you ever seen a case of it? Yeah, me neither. Okay, so. <laughs> all right, so Julie, you retain the board. Uh, we'll keep going with diagnostic nonvascular for 200. All right, diagnostic nonvascular for 200. This goes to Cliff. Question. Wait. Pass the Dutchie. Pass, pass the oh, you, oh, sorry, you passed. Okay, Cliff, this is up to oh. you then. I guess I'm doing diagnostic nonvascular for 200 then. <laughs> what is this? An ancient radiograph. Uh, it's a ring from Rankin's hand or Rankin's wife's hand. Which one? Rankin's wife, because why not? This is the very first radiograph ever taken. Yes, 200 points for the American team. This is Wilhelm Rankin's wife's ring. You, you guys want to go over the... Am I supposed to read that, or are you supposed to read that? What do you want to do? We can uh, all radiograph read Radiograph of the hand of Anna Bertha Ludwig Rankin's wife. The first human x-ray ever taken. Upon seeing it, she remarked, I have seen my death. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's pass it over. Chuck Ray. We're Choose your poison. Yeah, we're going to stick with diagnostic non-vascular. Non diagnostic non-vascular for 300, please. So we have an ERCP, we have an MR, and we have an ultrasound picture. Make that diagnosis, please. Uh, we're going to go with liver fluke. You're going to go with what? Liver fluke. Liver fluke. Oh, I think uh, uh, well, it's up to the ref. It's, it's a ref call on this one. Yeah. So, flukes and clothes. Uh, 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 flukes and <laughs> There's some <laughs> serious <laughs> cash. We got right some ballers. <laughs> 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 yeah, those, those are like blank papers inside <laughs> wrapped with <laughs> 120. Uh, no, 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 no. Those are ones. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Make it rain. <laughs> Chuck worked hard for these. <laughs> No <laughs> way, it's worth about a hundred Canadian dollars. That's actually a lot of money. There's some down there. That's not enough. That, that doubles my pay for the year, but you know, <laughs> academia, well, uh, what do you guys think? How much well, a fluke, a fluke is clonorchus, opus thoracus, fasciolopsis. That's no, not, but no, I will give you a hint. That's not what this is. No, Sorry. No, no, no. Liver flukes don't look like that. Oh wait, no, you were supposed to. 
They were supposed to be able to yes, steal. Supposed to steal. Yeah. We had it. You guys knew that, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. they knew it. Yeah. Give them the point. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so possession now goes to Team Canada. Wait a minute, that, that, that's not how the rules work here, is it? That, it's Canadian that, jump. You're the ref. <laughs> well, okay, I'm the ref. Okay, mark down 200 points from the commentators, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So and minus 300 for uh, Team USA. Okay, so, so far 300 points for Team USA, and so now there are... So Dave and I are winning, because it's 0, oh, yeah, zero 200. Awesome. They get to zero. They get to zero. <laughs> Oh, they lost 300. Okay. Yeah. 300, lost 300. But we You're got right. 200, so we're winning. <laughs> so are we giving the right. points to the Canadians for that one? Team Canada yeah. takes possession. Team Canada gets possession. All right, well, I guess... No points, we'll just we're, give We're them in their territory. We can't be... Uh, don't worry, this we, is just a dress rehearsal. Wait until everybody actually shows up. It'll be great. <laughs> okay, so Team Canada, it, you're up. Uh, and I guess for this left starts, correct? Corey, okay. Choose your weapon. Uh, I'm going to take materials and methods for 100, please. Okay, materials and methods for 100. From what seed is ethyl or lipidol derived? Oh. I'm going to go with poppy seed. Poppy seed is correct. Let's give them 100 points. Right. Lipidol is the ethylated fatty acids of poppy seed oil. Oh. All right, so let's pass it over to one. All right, I'll go with devices for 100. Okay, Dave, devices for 100. Name this device. I think that's a bird's nest filter. Bird's nest filter is correct. All right, let's give the Canadians 200 right. points. So interestingly enough, the bird's nest filter is actually still commercially available. It was initially reported in 1984 as a more effective method for managing situations where a mega cava was identified. Yeah, and I dare you to try to remove one. <laughs> okay, the Canadians, let's pass it over. Gilles, you're up. So I will go for Diagnostic Vascular 100. Diagnostic Vascular for 100. Name this structure. This is Giacomini vein. Giacomini vein, that's the one, man. You white folks sure have hairy legs. All right, vein of Giacomini, 100 points for the Canadian team, please. So the vein of Giacomini is actually a very common uh, thigh extension of the lesser saphenous vein and may facilitate varicosities through two-way reflux between the SSV and GSV. So watch out for it. Okie doke. Let's pass it over to the right. Amol, you're up. WTF. WTF. For 100. For 100. Okay, go let's see what this go is. Home. Which U.S. presidential candidate was a Canadian citizen until two years ago? Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz is correct. 100 <laughs> points for the Canadian team. T Ted Cruz. This is his actual birth certificate for, for you birthers out there. He's born in Calgary, Alberta, home of the Calgary Stampede, where every year there's high STD rates and pregnancies come July. <laughs> Ten days of debauchery. <laughs> Sorry, when is that held? <laughs> July 4th. It's, it's on your new it's uh, first Empire Friday. calendar app. You can find it. <laughs> Born in Canada, Cuban pa parents, and we know the Republicans love immigrants. Okay, Mike, you are up next. All right, we're on a roll, and I'm feeling lucky. I want diagnostic vascular for 500. Oh. 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 Go big oh. or go, go home. Man, okay, 500 points. Name the diagnosis on this patient. <laughs> um, that is the... Circumflex scapular artery entrapment. Ref's call. Ref's well, call. What do you think? I don't know. Did the ref see it? It's pretty. Um, I, I, hold on a second. I've got a really nice portrait of William Lyon Mackenzie King that I'd like to uh, provide the ref with. How, how many zeros are there on that? <laughs> it's actually not real money, unfortunately, because um, I wasn't monopoly. born before that. Monopoly money. So, the so, northern so, pesos so. are in the house. You know what? That, that'll buy you a couple of barrels of oil. <laughs> yeah. so, so you're, good. you're good there. Dude, I, can I remind you that I rejected a greenback? <laughs> And this, I mean, it's red. What, what is, and you can see through it. What the hell is this thing? <laughs> That's all I got. 
Oh, but it, it, it has some nice shimmery shit. I, I think that Proceeds us, go to I think that gives whatever us a little bit of uh, flexibility okay. yeah, in the I, answer. I'm now seeing the, the correctness of his answer, I think, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so this is, in fact, circumflex humoral artery aneurysm in a throwing athlete who has extruded some of the clot from the, from the uh, uh, aneurysm and embolized down into his hand. It's found commonly in baseball pitchers, um, tennis players, some uh, swimmers as well. Okay. Okay, looks like uh, Team USA right. delivering. They may pull their goalie now, even though it's the first period. We need a little catch up, and here we go. Do they lose the 500? Yeah, no, yes. Oh, yes. So they get 500 points for that. Yeah. Take 500 points to the Canadian team, please. All right, now we're going to pass the mic back down. Hey, they didn't get the answer. They didn't get the answer. That's what the cash is for, right? No, Excuse me, I can't hear you. This, there's an earplug in my. Yeah. I believe honey talks. <laughs> I think there's some shenanigans going in the corner, and uh, Team right. USA has just come up with so the puck. Do, Should we uh, uh, pass the duchy to them? We'll do uh, WTF for 500 then. <laughs> Wait, it's back to the US? We, I thought we gave that to them. Yeah, let's go back and forth. No? Okay, whatever. <laughs> yeah, what's the little bit? They, the they, they went right. in the corners hard. They came out with the puck. Oh. They, they go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right. Yeah, the venom of the southeastern pigment rattles that yields what? We're going to use our Google lifeline. You want a lifeline? Yeah, we'll use the Google lifeline. Okay, so get on Google. You got 20 seconds. Look okay, this up. Google, 20 seconds on the clock, please. Count down. They got it. Okay, let's hear it. You got it. Yeah. We can't pronounce it. You can't pronounce it. It's it's uh ep Yeah, eptifidibatide. Eptifidibatide, which is also known as integralin. Correct. Yeah, so okay, so they've used up their they've used up their ask Dr. Google, but 500 points to the US team. All right, let's pass it over to the next people. Next. All right, back to Teresa. You told to go conservative, so we're going to go diagnostic vascular for 200. Okay, diagnostic vascular for 200, please. This is. Uh, Flank pain and hematuria. What is, is the nutcracker diagnosis? Nutcracker syndrome. Nutcracker syndrome is correct. 200 points to the U.S. team. Most of you know what that is. The, Left renal vein gets caught between the SMA and the aorta. It's squished there, causing venous hypertension of the left kidney. All right. Chuck was talking about his uh, nuts being in a jar just on uh, Saturday, so maybe we can get him to elaborate about that. I, I don't think they fit into the nutcracker, though. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's pass it over. All right, Julie, we're going to do uh, 500 diagnostic nonvascular. Oh, diagnostic nonvascular for 500. She might get the answer to this. <laughs> it's the private practice guy's money. Okay. All right. Name that diagnosis, please. Ten seconds. There are red arrows on it. Eight seconds. Five seconds. Or well, if you're wrong, it's a negative negative point, so you can pass on it as well. I mean, you'll buy it. You can you. <laughs> You can buy a hint. Okay, we're, at, buy we're at our time. Okay. So you, All right. You want to buy hint? Answer the, the, or this, bribe. This is part of the, sympa the, of the uh, sympathetic vascular. nervous system. My Symp team is going with a vascular egg. A vascular egg. <laughs> we're going to give you this. Just a, just a thank you. Really. By the way, all the proceeds think, go guys, to Dan. Yeah. <laughs> all the proceeds are going to the SIR Foundation. So give often. Yes, yeah, screw that. Give shit. plenty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the SIRF today. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Go ahead, Steve. Come after me. So <laughs> where's Steve Key? <laughs> so, we, so do we have an answer? 
a vascular. Well, we, we need a hint. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so the, the hint is, is part of the it's part of the sympathetic ner nervous system, and it's a neoplasm. And an or it's an organ that is. Schwannoma. Okay, it's sort of it's. Oh okay, yeah, no points. Uh, it's sort case. of it's sweet, it's and it's sort of the basically where you might shove a candle. They can up they can upgrade the bribe. They can upgrade the bribe if they want. I don't know. Canada to steal? Oh, okay. It, 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 okay. Should we let Canada to steal? Canada to steal. Anyone? Okay, Canada. You want to steal? It. Let's hear it. Steal from the cytoma and the organ that's took a candle. They got it. Extra, extra adrenal free chromocytoma in the <laughs> organ of Zucker candle. So this is a tumor that's derived hey, from the neural None of that stuff. That's only for San Francisco for where I'm from, okay? <laughs> all right. So all along the sympathetic chain, you can get extra adrenal field chromocytomas, I guess, and this is the organ of Zucker candle. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, you chose it, guys. 500 points, you know? Okay. All right, so I guess it goes back to Canada, who got the answer right. All right, let's go diagnostic non-vascular for 400, please. Diagnostic non-vascular for 400. What is this diagnosis? <laughs> Wait for the music to end. <laughs> a moral lavalier lesion. Moral lavalier. Wait, wow. wait a minute. Did they? Did he pronounce that correctly in French? Moral lavalier. Oh, moral lavalier. Unfair advantage. Yes, this is moral lavalier. 400 points. That's what it looks like on a person. Moral lavalier, closed degloving injury. That is a hemolymphatic mass described by Victor August Francois. Morel Lavalli in 1848. Oh, that's one guy. It's not Morel Lavalli to people. <laughs> Those French guys are so funny. You know how they combine words and stuff. All right. So let's pass it to the next person. Who's up? I think I'm up again. All right, Dave. Uh, take your pick. Is it is Dave or Mike? That's fine. Or Mike. Uh, 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 <laughs> I'll take uh, diagnostic basket for 300, please. Diagnostic basket for 300. Oh, man. Name that diagnosis. Uh, that is Moya Moya. That is Moya Moya. 300 points for the Canadian team, please. So it, this is a, uh, Jason, this is what they uh, call a classic uh, Obasan Mini, which is a Japanese ant mini. Classic, uh, classic presentation, new vascularization, puff of smoke in Japanese. So. I believe that the Canadians are really uh, getting a home ice advantage here today. What do you What do you think, Jason? Is it uh, what, what's, what's your What's your uh, in game analysis? We got some very vocal Canadian fans up front here. <laughs> yes. Uh, cheers to the Canadian fans. I don't know. Should we reface off and uh, see what happens? Jason, I'd like to go well, for milestones and hockey, like, IR, please. If you're getting heckled you're from the crowd, aren't you supposed to go out there and beat the shit out of them? <laughs> Have if, if, if you looked at us? <laughs> Here, Chuck, tilt your head sideways, you'll blind them. <laughs> Is that right? Is that right? Give me my hundred bucks. Here, Here okay, sorry. Here. <laughs> that was a low blow. Okay. Cana Canadians are up next again, is that correct? Uh, well, we were just talking about it. I believe that there's that one rule, it was in section one, subparagraph uh, A, where the opposing team could actually bribe the ref to get possession back. Oh. Yeah, but, uh, but I, can't, I can't remember, I think it's an auction. Was, was that Benji's rule? I think so, yes. I yes. was removed that rule. Uh, you guys want another turn? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> They, they don't have enough money. All right. Okay. <laughs> so let's go back to the U.S. team then. Who's next from the U.S.? All right. Let's try milestones for 100. Milestones for 100, please. Name one of the authors below in the 1969 seminal publication on the creation of a transregular intrahepatic portosystemic shunt. I believe that's Dr. Roche. That is Dr. Roche. 100 points for the American team, please. And his co-authors. Hanafi, Gray, and Berenfuss. Okay. okay. So uh, just as a side, uh, we would also like to uh, respect and recognize Dr. Yosef, Yosef Roche, who uh, passed away this year. He truly was 
one of the titans of interventional radiology, and his contributions to IR have been countless. And measured by his achievements, uh, SCVR gold medal, Japanese Society of Angiography and Interventional Radiology gold medal, European Radiology Congress, and Western Angiography and Interventional Society gold medal. He is, he is truly a loss to our organization, to our specialty, and, uh, and I believe that he should be recognized for his contributions. So this, this is in the morning for Dr. Day. So we go from the Yes, group. but did he ever win the film panel? <laughs> okay, right, so who's up next? So we go Tick, from pick. the brilliant to the moronic. Um, we'll take milestones in IR for 200. Milestones in IR for 200, please. Name the IR credited with the first in-man tips. Uh, we're going to go with Charles' daughter. Oh, I'm sorry. Minus 200 points for the, can the U.S. team. Would the Canadian team like to steal this? Okay. Colapinto is correct. <laughs> so, Dr. Ron Colapinto from the University of uh, Toronto. Legend has it that when he was doing his cases back in the day that he'd have a cigarette in his hand while uh, still doing the case and smoke with his gloves on. Wait, wait a minute, is, is that a picture of Cole Pinto or is that a picture of uh, Tony Montana? <laughs> <laughs> I think we have a mistake there. Okie doke, so uh, what was that, 200 points for the Canadian team and the, and the turn goes back to Canada. Who's up? Uh, is it, how does it work? Is it the person who stole who goes or do we go back to the, right to the same order? to who just answered. So Gilles or answers, so I guess it goes back to them all. What WTF 200? WTF for 200, please. What pathway does the recombinant monoclonal antibody bevacizumab inhibit? Oh, no, I. I'm going to say VEGF. VEGF is correct. 200 points to the Canadian team. Specifically VEGF A, but close enough. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, that's what he meant to say. Yeah, you owe me another 100. <laughs> okay. Tim Hortons card. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go to... Let's see if you can remember. Me and Amol have been doing all the work today, I think. Yeah, I Shaw. guess so. Shaw. Well, take your pick now. All right, I want diagnostic vascular for 400. Diagnostic vascular for 400, please. Name this diagnosis. I think there's some angry Americans in the crowd that I hear, hag, hag. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna let the counter go down fact, for the dramatic the game, effect. The Canadian team will, go, will be that walking down that aisle right there. You can have Adam. <laughs> Persistent sciatic artery. Persistent sciatic artery is correct. 400 points to the Canadian team. And which type was that? So yeah, whatever. The persistent sciatic artery is a rare vascular anomaly of which, as you can see, there are five types where there's continuation of the internal iliac artery into the thigh through the greater sciatic notch. It is bilateral in 25% of cases. All okay, right. Doke. As we are approaching our intermission, we'll have a couple more questions and then the, the, uh, the teams can regroup and we'll have a re-face off. Okay, Cora, you're up. Okay, I'll take uh, devices for 200, please. Devices for 200, please. <laughs> There's more here too, Chuck. Is it a cryo <laughs> Cryo Okay, name that device. I think that's a cryo ablation balloon. A cryo ablation balloon? Well, I think yeah. I hear him all. He's uh, kibitzing. Yeah. I think that's, that's a loss of possession. In the box. Ooh, that's a loss, loss of possession. possession. <laughs> I, I believe that's a steal. Yeah. I yeah. believe that's a steal. <laughs> all right. So, just, would you like to steal that? <laughs> just, we'll just call it a cryo balloon. Cryo it's not an ablation balloon. technique. It's, it's not an ablation technique. Correct. This is the cryo balloon. So let's give 200 points right. to the U.S. team. Perfect. This is called the polar cap cryoplasty <laughs> balloon. <laughs> Come on, Canada, you're supposed to know about... I'm embarrassed to say I used that before. 
We just put the balloons in our car for an hour, <laughs> that's right. and then that's yeah. like it works. That's right. All yeah. angioplasty balloons in Canada are, are cryo. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so we'll have one last question. We'll okay, go one last question intermission. before intermission. Right, Who's up for go, the American we're team? Go big so we can go home. Um, <laughs> milestones in IR 500. Milestones please. in IR for 500, please. Oh. <laughs> How much money do you have left? It's going to take you all of that. Actually, can we can we um, can we use our another uh, lifeline? Uh, well, you can you can phone a friend. Yeah, I'm gonna phone a friend. Okay, let's he's phone sitting a in the front row right yeah, now. Yeah, don't call Rizavi because he's just gonna tell you to uh, twist and jerk and <laughs> then stand. Yeah, I'm calling the mood. He's sitting in the front you row. Just, just ask him. My mood. Who is it? That's your phone ringing, by the way. <laughs> what did he say? He didn't pay his phone bill. They disconnected him. <laughs> You want me to pay your phone bill? Yeah. What is, do you know? All right. Oh, hold on, hold on. It's 40, 40 seconds for this one. By the way, TELUS is probably charging you about 15 bucks a second right now for those phone calls. All right, can you hear me now? Actually, maybe one of these guys knows. The editor in chief of JVIR is sitting right there. And he's American. No, but he knows what it is. Who knows? Yeah, it was. It was. Uh, oh wait, who was the inventor again? Andy Craig. Oh, if it was a human instrument, it was Gary Becker, if it was animal, it was Craig. That is incorrect, I'm sorry. Oh. You need to fire that guy, man. <laughs> okay, that's 500 points off of the American side and 1,000 points against like Mahmoud Razavi. Would you guys like to steal that? Yes, yes. We'd, we'd like to steal. You'd like to steal that, okay. So we will say Dr. Parodi. That is also incorrect. Really? Minus 500 no. points that's for Canada. And that's not 500 Canadian dollars, that's 500 real American points. All right. <laughs> let's show them the answer. All Dr. Right. Nicholas Volodos from Kharkov Soviet Union. Oop, let's go back, please. Wait, wait, go back to that? Oh, who did that? Patented in the Soviet Union in 1984 and implanted in humans before the Western world did. Yeah. Oh, published in Russian, hat. and Dave and Dan read those when they were like eight years old. I wanted to be a pastry And evidently chef he was guy. also a chef, too. <laughs> I mean, look at that hat. <laughs> All right, so we're into an intermission. We're just going to do two minutes of an intermission, and uh, we have a little bit of a little bit of rest and regroup for the, uh, for the team. Yeah. All right, who wants a t-shirt? <laughs> No, you, you can sit here. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh, I hope it All right. Better get this out of the way, huh? All right. Okay, let's see how far we can make this thing go. To the moon! You ready? Okay, here we go. Nice. Ah, that was nice. Yeah. Turn over a little bit. Okay, let's, let's aim over there a little bit. Okay, who wants one? Open wide. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice That's catch. Out of the park. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm over here. Whoa, that was hit the light. <laughs> Oh, yeah, okay, concerned. let's see if we can take off Mahmoud's head. On the max.
so far? Where, where, where do you think the U.S. deficits are going to be and where do you think they're going to recover? Well, I think we had a great first half there. I could see that uh, Team Canada came out strong, but uh, I know that Team USA is uh, really strong and they're going to come out uh, fighting hard here in the end. So I look forward to a, a great second half. Fantastic. And here we are, back for the second period. Back for the second period and we right have... Right back into it. Oh, okay. Well... <laughs> Okay, well, you guys still have a lot of cash here, so make use of it. Possession goes back to the USA. Please pick a question. Dollars. Uh, we're going to do... Uh, let's... Yeah. All right, we'll do devices for 300. Devices for 300, please. What is this device? This is the eSure device. This is the eSure device. 300 points to the American team. The Eshore Fallopian Tube Occluder. All right, Julie, you're up next. Devices for 400. Devices for 400, please. Name the inventor of the wall stent. Isn't that a wall graph you're showing that? The one on the bottom is a wall stent. The other one's a permaloom. Anybody know this? Because we don't know that either. And, and <laughs> just a hint, the permaloom was not invented by Dr. Permaloom. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Bribe away. Bribe. Bribe? We're gonna bribe. Okay. I, this is 120. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we're, we're desperate. We. I'll take that. Okay, so the hint was. The hint was the permaloom was not invented by Dr. Permaloom, but the wall stent was invented by Dr. Walls. Walls. Okay, next. Let's show the answer, please. Dr. Hans Walston invented the wall stent. Oops. This is an innovative guy. not. This guy is an innovative guy. He was actually in the paper industry in Sweden. He didn't actually get into medical devices until he was 45 years old. He just stumbled on the medical field by chance. Had a cardiologist named uh, Ake Senning uh, approach him, and, and then he developed a the, uh, the wall stent and the first human uh, patient was in 1986 in the coronary arteries. All right, so possession goes back to the U.S. That was 400 points to the U.S. team. <laughs> so okay. there is still a path to victory for both teams and there is still a path to failure as well. And there's still two daily doubles we haven't seen. Let's, okay. let, let's deal with materials and methods for 200. Materials and methods for 200, please. What material is primarily used for insulation of electrical wires and making cookware nonstick, but variations Teflon. can be stretched to form a strong inert membrane? Teflon? PTFE? Which one? Well, they're okay, the same thing. PTFE. PTFE is the correct answer. And it can be used for rainwear and, Let's work our way through. I guess, our way through cigarettes. <laughs> It doesn't really matter where From we go. Where you can't see anything. Okay, all right. All right so yeah. that is 300 points to the American team. And remember, we still have some daily doubles, so things can change very, very quickly. Okay, would, take your pick, American team, please. We're going to do uh, WTF for 400. WTF for 400, please. The daily Woo! double. Chuck Ray chooses, so you're allowed to bet oh, I don't up dance. to 1,200 points. And if Team USA bets 1,200 points, they will be in a tie with Team Canada. This is make or break. All right, here we go. Bet it all. Oh, we got a bet? Yeah. You don't bet. Yeah, we bet. You your points. 1,200 points. All of it? All of the half of the All right, we're going to go. We should go all the way. Yeah, who wants to go all the way? Okay, but we're just helping with decisions. Yeah. All of my best decisions were made after drinking. Okay, <laughs> let's hear the Daily Double, please. Congratulations, this is the Video Daily Double. Earlier today, we saw that Dr. Song, Dr. Ferris, and Dr. Vogelzang won the gold medal for SIR this year. Well, here's your question. Can you name one interventional radiologist that has won the Nobel Prize? I have two hints for you. One, it's not in medicine and two is for an organization that he co-founded. Okay, did you get that again? What is the, the only interventional radiologist ever to win a Nobel Prize? 
The answer is right out in the, in the lobby, too. Okay, your time's up. Would you like to pass or would you like to guess? We're going to pass. They're going to pass. Okay, with the Canadian team. Hey. Hey, get on. Hey, what is this? Oh, 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 for two, for, for two answers. And shotgun up here. <laughs> <laughs> but is, is there a point, a point number that we're supposed to deduct for, for the blatant violation of the rules that were spelled out so clearly in the beginning? The rules seem pretty valuable. Yes. <laughs> a red card. Give me a penalty. Now we're playing short right. yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go <laughs> halfway. <laughs> Let's go halfway. Let's say it's a 600 point deduction for Team Canada hey, and no deductions for US. Because that was a bad. Can the no, AV team the please either. turn off the uh, Wi Fi, please? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so. So Team Canada so minus 600, Team USA, no points lost. No points lost. Okay. All right, so it goes back to Team USA. Choose your next Never. question. Oh, so the answer oh. Herbert Abrams. Uh, former chair and chief at Stanford University, one of the co-founders of the in International Physicians for the Prevention of Nuclear War, that together with its Soviet counterparts won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1985. And Dr. Abrams just passed away a few months ago uh, at the age of 93. Okay, let's go on to the next. I believe Team USA still has possession. Materials and uh, methods for 300, please. I hope you don't mind, I just called my cousin in China. <laughs> materials and methods yeah. for? 300. More. Materials and methods for 300, please. Oh, what is the active metabolite of Irino T can? We're, we're going to pass on that one. You got five more seconds to masturbate about it. That's okay. We're, We're still going to pass <laughs> <Okay>. on now. <laughs> it's going to be a pass. All right. Would you guys like to steal? Thing? Yes. Okay. Canada, do I like to steal? What's the answer? We're going to say SN38. SN38 is the correct answer. Okay. Yeah. Canada points to the Canadian team. Excellent. Sweet. So SN38 is the active metabolite of Irino Tecan. Metabolized and activated within the liver parenchyma through CES1 and CES2 it is 1,000 times more potent than Irino Tecan alone. Okay, Team Thanks Canada, let's choose your next question. <laughs> so I take. Uh, I don't want to break any rules. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Chuck, where are you going? For 300. Oh no! <laughs> Chuck, Chuck. Gilles, how do you say that in French? <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to learn okay, French. Okay, looks like we have a sub in. We have a substitution. We have a sub in. Oh, 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 what agent gives the patient the taste and smell of garlic when given during an embolization procedure? DMSO. DMSO is correct. 300 points for the Canadian team. Okay, Amol, you're up next. Let's go devices for 500. Devices for 500, please. <laughs> what the hell? I mean, it, it's name not a that device. <laughs> And which orifice it goes in? It goes. It's a. It, it's not a speculum. Or which orifice it can it's, create? It's, it goes through the biliary system, I believe. Stone retrieval. Snare, speculum device. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty close. Do we give that to him? Oh. Reps call. Yes. Reps call. 
Deal. Otherwise, no one has the. Well, they get part of it, right? I'll tell you what. Let, let's give Team USA yeah, a chance. If they, know, if they know who it's named after, they will Burn steal the point. Stone snare thing for the billiard. Okay. Pardon me. I said otherwise known as the Burhaney catheter. Oh. Oh. Nice. Oh, oh that came wait, out of that nowhere. That was like. Uh, oh. The 20 seconds were up. Right. The 20 seconds were up. Yeah. We knew it. Hey, yell at the ref, not us. We're just the peanut gallery. <laughs> All right, the ref, where did the points yeah. go? You know what? So you have to. They got it right, but they got it after the 20 seconds. So we'll give them the 500 points, but they lose their turn. Let's go back to the USA. Uh, All right, that's that was the, the great Burhenny Canadian factor from some Canadian guy, Burr yeah. right, <laughs> okay. right here in Vancouver, yes. Okay, let's go back. We have four more questions. We gotta get Choose wi we wisely. Go. Where's the daily double? <laughs> it's up to you to find it. Take a high number okay, milestones in IR. Milestones in IR for 400. Damn! Damn. Oh. Yeah. All right, we go now that oh. is that is what you got to do to win a gold medal. All right? <laughs> Any of you out there thinking, hey, I'm pretty good at this? Nah. All right, we're gonna we're. I think we should uh, go full on and put the gold medal down as well. Oh. <laughs> Or at least the gold medal pin. Oh. oh! There it is. Wait, let me... <laughs> ah, real! It's, it's yeah. a gold colored medal. That's a gold colored medal. Okay, let's, let's play the Daily Double, please. This is our Sarah Bollinger team from Piedmont Hospital in Atlanta, Georgia. Congratulations on getting the video Daily Double. So here's your question. So the first recorded case of radiomobilization was performed by Ronald Sales and Brady here at Piedmont Hospital. So here's my question to you. What year was this published in the American Surgeon? I also have a hint for you. It's also the same year that an embryo that we know as Dan Z was formed. So I'll repeat the question. What year was the there's, there's first human radiomobilization published in American Surgeon? It was also the year that I became an embryo. Okay, nine months, you know. Wait, can we get I a, was not a premium. Can we get a lifeline? Can we, uh, no, we used How much money you got we, left? Can you, uh, can you tell I'm us 54 how old you're years old. You're 54. Come on, you're the Asian. <laughs> Figure it out. I'm bad at math. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to make deals, but I'm bad at math. <laughs> Sixty-one. Sixty-one. No, 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 no. But before you, I was an embryo. Okay, that's gonna cost you another fifty. Okay, how much more money do they have there? Yeah, that, yeah, that would be quite a bit here. Bit here. I see him drawing numbers on his shirt. Nineteen sixty. Nineteen sixty is the correct answer. Yeah. How did they come up with yeah, that answer? No idea. Unbelievable. Okay, nineteen sixty. Graded out. Published the first. Cases of acute sales rounds already published in the American Surgeon. First cut reported cases of reorganization in 1960. And you guys, how much did you bet? You bet it off against 1,200 points to the USC. Okay. Ah, we're oh, now, now it's a game. Okay. And the US is up next too. The gap. We have three more questions. questions. The bench brawl. Yeah, so it's 2,400. That's two. All right, zeros. so we're down to the wire. We have three questions left and final Jeopardy. Are we going to go grab one? Grab yep. yep. Uh, we'll do uh, materials and methods for 400. Materials and methods for 400, please. What is the maximum distance penetration of Y90 radiation in tissue or water? Uh, what would be in the butt, Bob? No, no, I'm just kidding. Um, three to five millimeters. What do you say? Three to five. Three to five millimeters. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. So, uh, that's minus 400 for the American team. Would you like to steal? Okay, let's hear it. We're going to say 10 millimeters. Uh, uh, 11. We close. 11. Close. Close. 12. I'll tell you what. We'll We'll, we'll give you some Canadian points for that, okay? Yes. So the actual points. answer is 
Next slide, please. That's what I said, 10.999. It's 11 point something millimeters. Well, I guess if we're going to be sticklers, we should take off the same number of points for each team, right? 400 points That's all right. minus, and each of them did not get it, so USA still has, USA retains. How can I go against Yes, that? okay, let's go back. Which one? Choose one. So here's your uh, useless trivia for this, uh, for this uh, answer. Yttrium is actually named after Itterby, Sweden, where its mineral form was purified by Johan Gadolin, who Gadolinian is named after. Ooh. Okay, there's a test on that if you want sack me credits. All right, milestones and IR for 300 or materials and methods for 500. Take your pick. You need 500 points. Okay, sure. Okay, materials and methods for 500 it is. Octreotide, oh, also called sandostatin and sandostatin LAR, are FDA approved for what disease other than carcinoid and VIP OMA? We're going to say pancreatic pseudocyst and pancreatitis. Uh, sorry, that is not the correct answer. Would Canada like to steal? We don't even know what the yeah. FDA is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think the F in FDA is the same as the F in WTF. <laughs> okay, so let's, let's see the answer. Next slide, please. Acromegaly. Yeah, you wouldn't have ever gotten that. Okay, so both sides did not get it. So let's let's go back to USA. Take your pick. Which, Why does USA which get question it? would you like? Okay, milestones and IR 300. What part of a Volkswagen did Charles' daughter use for an IR application? This is not me. We use a lifeline. We don't have a lifeline. He worked with like catheters and wires, maybe things that can rotate, maybe things that can rotate because they're long and skinny. Speedometer cable is correct. How did he get that? Wow. Those guys are good. This is down to the wire. 300 points for the U.S. team. And that's it for the regular question. So now we're up to final jeopardy. So let's take so, uh, let's take 30 seconds. I believe. Uh, do you have a pen and paper in front of you? We, know, no. we do not. Okay, you will whisper into Dan's ear <laughs> what your wager is going to be. Let's take 20 seconds on the clock so that you can determine your wager. It looks like it is still down to the wire. This could go all the way, either way. I guess we need a question. Can, can we get the 300 for the speedometer cable? Oh yeah, three, 300 points for the spa, yes, so it should be 1,800 for the visitors. How much you're betting on the final Jeopardy question? If they bet 300 or more and get it right, yeah, it took them a while to get the 300 up there. <laughs> this is the moment in film panel where strategy meets execution. The technical meets excellence. Okay. And perfection do we, do we have your bets down? And we do. Okay, good. We're do we have your bets down? All right. Whatever so wagers down. are down. Okay, let's keep Ooh. them from the audience. Let's keep them from the We got a rumble going on here. Okay. Uh, no, you, you can't write multiple bets. No, 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 no. We're just... <laughs> okay, okay. All right, let's show them the final Jeopardy question. Some IR trivia here. Okay, okay. final Jeopardy question, please. In 1989, this Buffalo Sabres goalie suffered a life-threatening injury with a skate lacerating his internal jugular vein and carotid artery. What was his name? Now, does anybody know if he uh, actually developed uh, MS from the um, internal <laughs> jugular stenosis? Uh, okay, we got to start the timer, please. Hmm. So 
Jason, do you think that you think Team USA is going to pull a clutch on this one? I don't know. It's looking like it's coming down to the wire. It's really close. I see some nods from Team Canada. I see some deliberation, some furrowed eyebrows. And, and Bob's giving me the stink eye. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. Yeah. We got it. Okay, well, write it down then. You got it. Write, write it down. Write it down. All it's right. written out. We knew before that question came up. I'll give you a hint. It's not O.J. Simpson. All right. Is time up yet? Not a clue. Time is up. Do we okay. have written responses and then the wagers? All right. Let, let's see what the written response is here. <laughs> <laughs> Let, let me check with the uh, panel here whether this is the correct answer. <laughs> uh, I guess that's no. Turd Ferguson? <laughs> and do you guys have any more money? <laughs> We're kind of broke. Yeah. Hey, is that an iPhone 6S? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what was their wager? Uh, what was their wager? It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. I, I, I don't think anybody has ever oh. played the NHL named Turd, as far as I know. So, so. <laughs> Never made it. Never made it. <laughs> okay, what about this answer? Let's see, what? Malarchuk. Clint Malarchuk. <laughs> That is correct. That is correct. Okay. <laughs> it was Stack. Who's ever heard of this guy? I mean, he's like some Canadian guy, right? All right. That's going to cost you another 20. <laughs> Man, that looks like my fellow did a Venus access on him. All right, that's it for, for our film panel this year. Thank you for your attendance. Let's roll the uh, final uh, credits, please. And thanks to Gerald, thanks to uh, Dan, thanks to uh, my buddy here, Dave Liu, and special thanks goes out to Team USA and Team uh, Canada for participating in this. <laughs> Cheers. A funky on the start. Yeah. We got two beers left. Oh, you didn't get one, Gerald. <laughs> Thanks. Right. That was fun. Right. Thanks. 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 That was fun. I had to struggle to remember.